How's it going? My name's Wes. I'm going to uh, give you a bit of a, a uh, demonstration of the Gurlitz Revelator Dual Amp. It's extremely well built, masterfully designed, and I think it's well on its way to being a legendary tube amp. Um, it's hand built in the USA. This one in particular is number 45 of, I think, about 50 total Gurlitz amps ever made. Um, this one uh, right here, if anybody has information, this says tray in script right on the, on the face plate. Uh, on the back, uh, next to the serial number, it says that it has the tray plus mod, uh, and it's dated to have that mod on the, on the same day it was built, so I'm guessing that it was a, it was a factory modification. Uh, if anybody has in, any info on that, please let me know, because I can't find any, and I'd be uh, super grateful to know what you know. Um, basic rundown of the amp is uh, depending on the speaker configuration you can have 50, 70, 100, or 140 watts. Um, there are two complete tube amps built into this head. Uh, the first being Blackface which is a, a uh, deluxe reverb. Um, second being Plexi which is a 50 watt Marshall. <coughs> um, and both of those are both of those amps are fed line level into a solid state power amp um, and solid state is no longer a bad word because it's it's uh, it doesn't color the tone it's just used to make the tube amps louder or quieter uh, and also you can with the with the uh, with the uh, power section you can blend the two amps together and make your own really cool sound there's a stereo effects loop, uh, a parallel effects loop, which I have some delays and other time effects in, so I can really, I can show you uh, what it sounds like to have your delays completely after the tube amp, so there's no breakup changing the sound of your delays. Um, uh, oh, the, uh, uh, I don't know about your Tolex cabinets, but mine wouldn't really go for this. There's not a mark on it. Um, that's because there, uh, this one is not covered in Tolex. It's covered in truck bed liner, which is um, it's like a really durable rubber spray-on paint sort of substance, and it's, uh, it's a really good choice to, to cover the cabinets in. Um, my setup is I'm using a Fender Telecaster, a uh, 60s re, rep, uh, reissue replica sort of thing. Um, the Gurlitz amp is running through a 1x12 closed cabinet with Celestion Vintage 30s. Uh, my guitar is going into volume, wah, univibe, fuzz, a boost pedal, straight into the guitar input. And I have, like I said, I have some delays in my in my effects loop and uh, I'm going to demo all of that for you but first I'm going to give you a little bit of a run through of the front panel. Um, I have all the EQ set at halfway. Here's the blackface. <laughs> That's just blackface, nothing else is on. Um, not that I believe. No, definitely not. Um, and like, like uh, it's pretty obvious that I can, I can pretty much talk over that volume right there. I'm in a condo, so I can't get too loud anyway. But uh, just for a split second, it can get pretty loud. Uh, it can also get whispered quiet to the point where you probably can't hear it over my guitar strings. Uh, it's a really good feature, and it's, it's great that they use the solid state power amp because of that. Um, <coughs> Let me show you, this is still just the blackface channel. It can get to about this amount of overdrive, at least with the telly. So yeah, um, I'm just going to leave it with a little bit of overdrive on it. Um, I'm going to use some other guitars so you can get a feel for how it, uh, how it works with different guitars. Uh, I'm going to use a... Uh, I'm going to pull out a Gretsch, Gretsch hollow body and a Les Paul as well. And um, 
So yeah, there's a sparkle switch next in line, which is, uh, here's with it off. Sparkle switch on. Kind of shifts the upper mid-range to around 4K. I really like it, like it with it on. Um, even though it differs from the Blackface original circuit a little bit. Um, I'll give you a little idea of the EQ. I'll just dime each one at a time so you can get a feel for what, what it changes. Here's the treble dime. Here's mid-range. Here's bass. Presence. And then next in line is a reverb. The the there are two different two completely discrete reverb tanks in the back, one for the blackface, one for the plexi. This uh, the uh, Fender the Fender uh, uh, reverb tank is a lot longer and has the uh, you know the uh, splashy reverb sound that you're familiar with with your uh, blackface Fenders. <laughs> to the, the Marshall. Here's the Marshall tone. Um, yeah, and the, uh, there are two volume knobs, just like on the original one. They are jumped inside internally, so if you don't want one, you just turn it off, and it takes it out of the chain. Um, here's the, here goes the EQ, here's the treble, here's the mid-range, bass, presence, and here's the reverb. It's a much more uh, modern day Accutronics three spring reverb kind of kind of tightness action going on. Um, after the tube amps is a an EQ switch that's called a fat switch. I'll let I'll uh, show you first on the black face. Here's without it. Here's with it. Kind of adds to the to the highs and to the lows. With the plexi, it really turns the turns the plexi design into more of a, a mesa boogie or soldano kind of sound. There's with without it, and here's with it. And the cool thing is, it comes after the tube amps, so no matter where your where your volume controls are on your tube amps, it's still really apparent in the signal, and it doesn't get washed out with a whole lot of uh, overdrive. Um, right here are two. Two level controls that are in the uh, in the in the power amp, so you can properly mix the two tube amps together. Right here we have a blend control. Blackface. I'll make that a little bit more apparent so you can kind of have some fun just for your li listening pleasure. Here's blackface. some some effects run through. 